Welcome back, everybody, to 79 Alpha 21. Uh, I am an old guy, Gabby, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. Uh, so in this episode, we are going to get started with our permanent, well, what I think will be our permanent horde-based design. Um, it's going to take me a while to completely build this out. I probably, almost certainly, will not have it ready by Horde Night 56. Um, so, as I mentioned in the last video, we're, we're going to take a Horde Night off and instead go to the hospital, uh, the Tier 5 hospital, uh, during the Horde Night. And, you know, so we'll have to, of course, secure the ground floor before the Horde Night starts so that we can be in the upper levels and, you know, just keep doing our thing while the Horde cannot get to us from down below. At least that's the theory. <laughs> now, I've actually done that before. On, on the hospital, at least the earlier versions of the hospital uh, in the Horde, if I recall right, did eventually, before the night was over, manage to, to actually get to me. So, yeah, it could be interesting. Um, but anyway, yeah, our focus now is going to be to get uh, our Horde base going. So, I was so pleased with how our previous design worked in terms of how much incredible amount of XP we, we got from that, that I'm going to do something similar, but different. The weak point, of course, uh, to our forge, uh, not, to, I'm sorry, not to our forge, <laughs> to our horde base was that as soon as the ladder was destroyed by the demolishers, which it inevitably will be, then it, it stopped working the way it was supposed to. Uh, the other thing that was wrong with that base is that it was right on the surface of the ground, um, because it's something I threw together kind of at the spur of the moment. And so I've got, you know, a, a few ideas that we're going to do to uh, make that overall design more uh, feasible, uh, more robust. Um, and it's going to start with us digging a very large hole all the way down to bedrock. In the process of doing that, we'll get lots of XP and we'll get lots of resources, which we will need to build the horde base. Um, all right, so let's see here. There's a few things I want to do around the base first, though, before we get started with all of that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is we have three diamonds that we found in some in loot. I think in the in the last um, there it is. It's almost due south of us, and actually we had an airdrop. I'm gonna say probably around here. Uh, we had an airdrop that was to the west of us too, um, a couple of days ago off camera, and I I saw the plane, but I could never see the drop. So I'm gonna take a wild guess. This this one's gonna be even less accurate, but it'll just remind me that there is a drop somewhere to the west of our base. And you know, if we get the drops, that's great. If we don't, it's honestly not that big of a deal either because. The drops kind of suck. I mean, they have they have only ever had okay loot in them um, since I started playing this series. So if I if I don't get them all, I don't get them all. It's not that big of a deal. Let's go back to this. So we were going to make the diamond tip blade mod. So let's grab all of the other things that we need for that. We got, need five of those. Five of those. And five steel. And let's crap that. That's going to take three minutes. Uh, I want to make a second cement mixer too. So we're going to need 25 forged iron for that. One engine. Four springs and ten mechanicals. Very good. Um, we may also get even more forges going once I get to the point where I can make the crucible, but I think we can get away with just having three uh, for the time being. Okay, so you're working on steel. Let's grab some stone, or not clay, 
uh, stone and sand. And just refresh this. Because we're going to need a metric button of concrete for this build. Um, so I'm starting to build that back up. We have 3,600 and change at the moment. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, we're going to use the auger. And I know that's going to, you know, call in screamers, but I mean, screamers are going to come no matter what. So we just, they're a fact of life. We have to deal with them. <laughs> so uh, this guy, by the way, is working on five um, gas can stacks. So we'll have 25,000 uh, when it's done. So that's what's cooking up in there. And I think we're good to go, except for that we're waiting for the diamond tip mod, which I'm assuming the game will let me put on the auger. I certainly hope that it will. I don't see why not. Um, let's grab some fuel. We'll just take a full stack of fuel with us, too, because the auger's going to, of course, need it. Got plenty of repair kit. Well, I wouldn't say plenty. We've got a decent amount. I used a bunch of them to repair all that stuff that we sold. Uh, so, let's see. Repair kits take duct tape and iron ingots. Let's make another 10 of those just so we have them with us. And we can make these right in our own inventory. Uh, why are we only making four? Did I put too much duct tape back? I think I did. There we go. So that'll give us another 10 there. Beautiful. Okay. For food, uh, we're going to want to take coffee with us. Uh, I think we can make blackstrap now. Yes, we can. Coffee beans, water, and gunpowder. Let's... Oh, wait a minute. Coffee beans. I thought we used... Yeah, it is coffee beans. I thought we used, um, you know, normal coffee, but apparently that's not the case. We have 21 beans. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll just use up the normal coffees, um, and then we'll make blackstrap after, and exclusively make blackstrap after after that. Uh, we're doing really good on food because we got that food bundle. Uh, so we have tuna fish gravy toast, which gives us a maximum stamina bonus of 50, which I think is as, or, I'm sorry, 40, which I think is as high as you can get. As far as that, and that's what matters for. Well, actually, you know what? That doesn't matter for mining if we're using that auger. Uh, okay, well, whatever. It's the food we got. It's the food we're gonna use. Um, do I have rockbusters? I have one. All right, we might. I might want to run into town and see. I don't remember when the traders were gonna reset, but see if I can get a few more of those too. I want to maximize both of the res resources and the XP, you know, that we get from digging the big hole that we're going to dig to get this whole party started here. Let's get these guys topped off and then probably our um, diamond tip blade should be done. We've still got 142 minutes of burn time. That's pretty good. I have my usual seasonal allergies going on here, guys, so I apologize in advance for sniffling and snorting. Pain in the butt, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so we got food, we got coffee, we've got meds, we got fuel for the auger, we got repair kits. Let's grab this. And See, modify. So right now it does 44 block damage. Now it does 46.6 plus. Oh, that's a... Oh, okay, so that's a degradation thing. That's good, though. 40% slower? Absolutely, we'll take that. We don't really need an ergonomic grip on the auger. I mean, I don't think it uses stamina, does it? I know the impact driver does. Nope. 
does not use stamina at all. So do we have... Um, do we have something better we could put on there? It's not going to let us do the tempered blade mod in the... Uh, well, this is kind of doing the same thing. Both of these are doing the same thing that the diamond tip is doing. So, oh, yeah, this is what we need to put on there. And can't, I can make the larger version of that, can I? I thought we found the book for that. I can. That's what we need to do, guys, is we need to make this. Okay, so... I'll just sell this other one or put it on a chainsaw later on or something. So I've got five more steels. Uh, two plastics. And two duct tips. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab our second cement mixer. There we go. So we'll get those guys continuing to work on that stuff. I don't have any more stone melted down, uh, but right now I want to focus on on uh, building up the steel. Okay, so that'll be done in about 15 seconds. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that to finish, grab it. I'm going to run into town and see if we can get a few more uh, rockbusters from the traders, and then I will meet you guys at our build site, and we'll get started building our, our permanent horde base. See you in a bit.
Yes, we are at the spot that I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, make or build the horde base. Uh, it's a fairly high area, just a little bit south of our base, but far enough away from the base to where we don't have to worry about um, the horde spawning inside of the base. And uh, so, let's see, I guess our first order of business here is I need to make some some blocks for measurement purposes. Um, so, I don't know, let's make about 50 of these. Get those going first. And sorry, sorry that it's dark out, but uh, it's kind of the way it worked out. Uh, I went into town, tried to find some vending machines, and... Uh, I only managed to find, like, one more uh, rock busters. Wait, is that it? Just one more? I thought it had a total of three, but I guess not. Um, but I went, I stopped off at that, uh, you know, convenience store gas station across from Trader Hugh. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll show you the, the footage from that. And then I got a couple other good things in town, too. Um, but, yeah, I didn't find it. <laughs> The main reason it was I went in there just so I could see if there was a vending machine, you know, for the Rockbusters, but I ended up just kind of doing a very quick loot of the place. Um, And as a result of that, we got, um, uh, well, no, and the result of all of that, because I also stopped and did a cop car on the way back, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I haven't actually edited this video yet, this episode, so I have, but I'm pretty sure I'll show this to you. Uh, but we found this purple sniper rifle and we found another purple um uh auto shotgun too in all that loot so pretty good stuff what the hell's going on over there let's get our oh he's he's fighting a soldier we'll help the soldier out there Okay, so, um, I'm going to kind of, you know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a time-lapsed build, and I'm not even going to really tell you what I'm doing. Uh, you're just going to, you're just going to have to see it come together other than it's going to be based upon the same concept that we were doing before, you know, with an explosion chamber, uh, but quite a bit more involved. So from this point forward, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, I think we'll go ahead and just, we'll, we'll do a time-lapse build. I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to be able to get this all done in one fell swoop, of course. So, you know, we'll probably have a, a couple of different uh, time-lapse building sessions before this is completely finished. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the time-lapse and the music, and let's get started with this crazy thing.
right, guys, it is noon, and I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the building for today uh, so we can get prepared for Horde Night and make sure we can get the hospital uh, secured for the Horde Night, too. Uh, so we made pretty good progress. We got several full stacks of clay. We also got um, another level, too, so uh, let's max out perception. We got a total of four points. Perception is now maxed out. We want Demolitions Expert maxed out. We're going to get Deadeye maxed out, and that's probably it. Yeah, so we'll get, uh, so the next, um, next five points that we get, we're going to put into Deadeye. And then we're going to switch back over to something else, probably Fortitude. Uh, all right, good. So, yeah, we made pretty good progress here with the build so far. Um, so I'm going to head back to the base and drop some stuff off, get prepared uh, for the start of Fortnite 56, which once again is just going to be us uh, doing the the hospital, the Tier 5 hospital, but securing it so the Horde can't get to the upper floors. At least that's the theory. Okay. What are you doing in my house? Did she get an actual scream off? She must have spawned inside, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I I did not have a single screamer show up that entire time I was running that auger, <laughs> which was pretty much all morning in-game, you know, morning. So, oh. Uh, Houston? That's not supposed to be there. Uh, we better fix that. The other thing I was going to tell you guys is it is my intention to, uh, well, I think I already told you this, but in case not, I'm, I'm going to carve every single layer all the way down to bedrock. And the reason I'm doing that is for the resources and for the XP. And then I'm going to build the entire structure starting with wood and then upgrading it to cobblestone and then concrete and then select blocks up to steel. Again, for the purpose of maximizing the XP that we get for doing that. It takes longer, takes more resources, but you get quite a bit more XP in the process. So this is the total amount of clay that I have so far. And, um, you know, we're, we have one more layer to get, but the, we're going to be using this clay for sure. We're using it both for, um, you know, making more steel and iron and that sort of thing. But we're also going to be making a, a metric butt ton of cobblestone, too. So it is a useful and valuable resource. Um... And I think what I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to take two full stacks of clay and two full stacks of stone and just get this thing started making a um, thousand cobblestone. There you go. <clears throat> so, no, not a thousand, ten thousand, it looks like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, I think that... I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here, guys, uh, just because this is a good, a good stopping point for us. I don't know if this will end up being an actual full, you know, 30 minute or so episode uh, after I edit it. But this is just a good stopping point. So what I'm going to do is in the episode here, get all prepared, and then we'll start the next episode over at the Navisgain Hospital um, and get started with that. And our first task is going to be to secure it from the horde so they can't get to the upper floors and then of course get ourselves to the upper floors before the horde night starts and it's already after 1 p.m so with that being said thanks everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye